Well, today um, is a very sad day. I am preparing myself for the worst. My friend, my bestest buddy, has a proper illness. My bestest buddy, Richard, the goldsmith, is, is not very well. Now, please, anyone with a weak heart or anything like that, um, please look away now. Let's welcome Richard Goldsmith. Now Richard has um, has something seriously wrong with him. Oh, we don't like <laughs> <laughs> the reason I am the way I am today. Now I won't ask Richard to bend over. <laughs> my temperature. But anyway, I'm going to take this off now because it's just not on. It's be stupid. stupid. And I'll take the gloves off. Just want to say, lovely old job. Nice to have you back, bud. Good to be back. Where are we going today? We're going Brograve to Brograve Mill. We are going to Brograve Mill. And um, where is Brograve Mill? On the coast somewhere. On the east coast. Yeah, we have been there before, haven't we? We, we have been, been there several times. Oh, I've been there once. millions of times. There's some photos here. In fact, there's the photo there on the back. My one or was it yours? No, that's mine, you tart. Jesus care. Christ. The day you do oh. photography like that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you are doing good photography and I'm a bit worried. I'm doing all right, you know. You yeah. can drink your coffee mm. and get a bleeding shift on because the sun will be set by the time we get there. Is that nice? <sighs> yeah. Right. I love you, you. So it's Broadway Mill. So we can't. So <laughs> Lovely old job. What camera are you using? I old but famous. 5D Mark II? 5D Mark II. You're using it? a famous 5D Mark II? Yes. I'm using the famous 5D EOS, no, it's not 5D, is it? No, it's the EOS R. <laughs> it's the Canon EOS R. And look at these lovely, 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 lovely clouds. Straight after a storm or straight before a storm, what do you get? Good weather. Fantastic conditions for landscape photography. That's what you get. This one. Huh? Who sings this one? Coldplay. Right. Oh, would you mind letting him sing it? What's wrong with my singer? <laughs> I was told I got the voice of an angel. What is that? Uh, angel of death. Perfect time for sunrise. Perfect time for sunsets. Uh, what's going on here? Oh no, that's the wrong place. It's a tea room. <laughs> I went to a tea room and it's the wrong place to go. What got you into photography? Anyhow, what, what got me into photography? Yeah. Ah, now there's a good question. What got me into, seriously got me into photography was the fact that I had to take good photos of my furniture making and all the furniture I took uh, and all the furniture I made right. and kitchens that I produced. And um, that was where that came from. So was your first production photographer, was it? Yeah, was it? Well, it was my first serious look at photography. Yeah. And that was around about 15 years ago. I just experimented with photography and all sorts, really. Yeah. So there's Brograve over there, look. 
So yeah. don't don't look that far away, does it? But no. actually, it's, it's quite a way. So we park on here. Yeah, yes. I mean, and it's, it's all very nice being a photographer and all that, but that's when you start looking into it, you think, oh, I've got this lens, what does it? You think, oh, that's getting a bit expensive. Yes. <laughs> that's not a cheap hobby. It's not a cheap hobby. But you don't have to make it expensive. No, you don't. So we're going to get out of the van now and uh, walk and to. <laughs> got to say but I do love this Norfolk way of life it's uh, absolutely awesome and I tell you what you can't beat the old straw in the mouth and whatever can you <laughs> <laughs> Let me help! Quick. Let me help! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to set up just here, I think. I think I just set up here. Now I've got my filters on the tripod. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Do you think that's a good composition there, buddy? You like it, do you? Okay, you carry on over there then. <laughs> so I've just got to get my glasses on. At the end of the day, you won't be able to see without them, will you, Richard? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, what I've got here, it's a nice composition of, of the mill itself. And uh, I hope you can see me all right, but you know, um, yes, it's a lovely old composition. And what you got, a lovely old pro-grade mill right there. Now then, I'm wearing this shower cap because I get the feeling we're gonna have some rain. What I'm gonna do, I've got focus peaking on. Now I'm gonna take that shot and that's gonna be blown out in the sky over there. So, what do we got to do? I'll tell you what we got to do. We got to put a filter on. And now that's about three stops of sunshine over there. So what we want to do is bring that down. So I want to get these reeds in the foreground as well. So what I'm going to do on a serious note is bring that down. I hope you can be serious with me because, you know, I can be very serious sometimes um, and I feel very serious today. I do need a filter on there and I need quite a strong one at that. So we're going to do a nine, a Lee ND9 filter, which is a half graduated filter, Richard, um, to calm that sunshine down a bit. So we'll put that in straight off the bat and see how that works and then twist it towards the sun that has really worked a treat now that we're on f8 1 80th of a second and we've got an nd half graduated nd filter 
three stops and hopefully that will work for us. So. <laughs> So this is the composition we want and it looks awesome. To be fair, this is the only composition that you're going to get from this place. And because you've got the sun over there and then you've got the, um, you've got the mill up there and, and, and that is it. So, you know, when you've got a good spot like this, you need to keep hold of it. You really do because there are people out there that I can't see anyone around at the moment, but there are people out there, I don't know where Rich has gone, but there are people out there that will try and nick your composition, you know? I had this composition first. You what? I was here first. Did you see me? Bloody hell, man. See, now that, that shows you, doesn't it? That shows you. You can't go anywhere without being ruined, have a ruined composition. Sorry, old chap. Oh, you're fine, yeah, yeah. You, you, mate. The camels are normal. what mates are for. I know. Isn't it? Shady compositions. Yeah, yeah, like I'll tell you what, though, Richard, what? in all fairness, you might want to just come, like, shoot here, really. Really? I would. Just don't fall in. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, do they? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down a bit more. Myself, in it. Oh, oh, somebody's got that bloody tripod. Fucking people. Look. Oh, fucking legs. <laughs> what beautiful clouds, man. All right, so I'm going to go up and try and get a slower exposure on here because that water is really rough. It is quite a rough night tonight. It's a rough night. So, we've got F22 with that one filter on. You've got less than, a, less than half a second exposure there. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start putting some more filters on actually. And I'm going to put a six stop filter on and I'm going to shove it all the way down. Are you shooting on F22? I'm shooting on F22 and I'm getting one... one th Have you no stucker? No, do you know what I'm going to do? I want to stuff it. I'm going to put the 10 stopper yeah, on. You get the 10. No, I got to. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I've got a hide a 10 stopper. That's a big one. That's a, well, it's a big one, isn't it? That's a 150 mil by 150 mil. And that, my man, is looking gorgeous. And we better hurry up. It's isn't it? It is looking rather tasty. Now I'm going to bring my aperture down again to about f8 and oh f7 even and get the iso up to 100 actually 100 100 100 there you go so iso up to 100 and i've got f8 is my mate f8 is your mate and we can take a shot and that'd be a 30 second shot and the way those clouds are going with a 10 stopper in look at that man just look at that Isn't that absolutely stunning? I'm going to have to move the camera so we can all see that gloriousness. Am I still cooking? Still cooking. Oh my good God. I might have been cooking a lot, but look at that. You can't. What's that? Your battery died? My battery died. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Has it really? Yes. You didn't bring a battery? I haven't charged since we come back from Scotland. Oh, mate. You knew you were coming out. I know. You muppet. 
Well, I'm going to take one more. What? <laughs> yep. That certainly, that certainly is. <laughs> yeah, take another one. Because I can. Do you know what they're called? <laughs> Pardon? What are they? <laughs> batteries. They're extra batteries in case your batteries run out in your cameras. Now Richard's done this before, he should have learnt by now, but... So we got a talk. Just turn it on. <laughs> do you do that again? Mate! That's a health and safety issue, that is. No, isn't it just? Let's roll this off, because okay. we've got to get back to the van, because we are freezing our tits off, aren't we? So it's got really cold. It's getting too dark now, but that looks lovely. Um, I've videoed in sea log, so I don't know whether I can pull that colour out. I hope I can. Anyway, what has it been, bud? No, let's do it together. Come on, let's do it together for a change. Because every time we do that, what do we do? We go, lovely old John. You go, lovely old John. And it's together. Lovely Toge old job. Yeah. Three, two, one. Lovely, lovely old John. <laughs>